Scotty, I want to go back to the first nine on Sunday. You bogeyed the seventh hole, your lead is gone. Then you birdie eight, nine, and ten, pull away and win the tournament. What were your thoughts as you came to the eighth tee that helped propel that charge? I was just trying to stay patient. You know, I felt like I was playing, playing good golf. I, uh, I hit some good iron shots to start the round, and we had just gotten the wins totally wrong. And, you know, we had been really good about getting the wins right most of the week, and so I think we were kind of due to, you know, catch a few bad breaks when it came to the wind. Um, but I had some nice up and downs. You know, we stayed in it pretty well. You know, the bad tee ball on seven kind of cost me, but um, outside of that, I felt like I was playing really well, and so I just tried to do my best to stay patient and hit the ball to the right spots, not try and force it in there. And, um, you know, we were able to do that, and it was a nice momentum putt I made there on eight that kind of, kind of got me going for the day. You were a very good player when you won here in 2022. Now you seem to have gone to another level. How, how more refined a player are you now than you were two years ago? I'd like to think that I'm more refined mentally. I feel like I'm maturing um, as a person and a player. I felt like emotionally this week it was as, be it was as good as I've been over the course of a four-round tournament. Um, I didn't really get very animated at all, I don't think. And, and Teddy did a good job of helping me manage kind of the surprises out there when things don't go the way that I think they should. Um, and I think emotionally this has been one of my best weeks, I think, on the course. Motivation, I'd like to talk about that with you. What, what does motivate you? Is it, is it outside competition, other players, or maybe the, the inner competition you have with yourself to be the best? Which is it? I think it's a combination of both. I, I love, one of the things I love about golf is being able to get the most out of you know, myself and my game. I feel like it's one of the games that you can just continue to work at for forever and ever and never, never quite conquer it. And then as far as the competition goes, whatever we're doing, you know, I, I love winning and I really, really hate to lose. Um, and so I, I think it's a combination of both those things. You and I know a lot of players that spend a lot of money on sports psychologists. Uh, you have your faith, which seems to free you up. Uh, how important or how would you quantify the importance of your faith for you as a player and as a person? Yeah, well, I mean, it's, you know, it's the reason why I'm out here living life. You know, it's 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 everything to me. You know, my, my faith, it, it really is. It's it's everything to me. You know, I believe in a, a creator, and um, you know, one of the things my buddies told me this morning when I when I talked about how badly I wanted to win this tournament was that victory was already secure. Victory was secure on the cross. You know, two thousand years ago, and um, whether or not I won this golf tournament, you know, my life, you know, it may change for a little bit out here on the golf course, but at the end of the day, I'm still the same person. My friends. We're still gonna have a good time riding home tonight, whether or not I won or lost the tournament, you know. And granted, it's gonna be a bit more fun <laughs> with the jacket, but we still would have had a good time regardless. And, and you said this week pretty adamantly that golf doesn't define you, um, but knowing how competitive you are, when did you realize that in your life? I'm not really sure. I, I think that's part of the constant battle. I think sometimes when when you're out here competing, that's what you're viewed as. You're viewed as your score to the fans, to people in the media. That's that's what you are. It's, you know, that's the question when you go, oh, hey, how'd you do last week? You know, and it's like, well, I shot, you know, ten under or whatever it is. You know, that's that's how you're defined out here on the golf course um, to to a lot of people. And so I think that's part of the constant battle is to to not have my score be what defines me as a person. Just you know, have golf be golf and have the rest of my life be the rest of my life. Um, you're going to be a father very soon. It's going to be a wonderful time for you. Um, and, of course, kids are influenced by a lot of things in society. If there was a kid that was watching you on the grounds today play and then heard your acceptance speech while wearing your green jacket, what do you hope that kid takes away from that experience? Wow, that's a loaded question. I, uh, I'm hoping that he takes away some of the gratefulness that I have because I, I really felt that when I was up there speaking. I hope that came across because I really am extremely thankful for the people that have been put in my life. You know, I've had a coach for the last 20 years that's basically like a second father to me. I have great parents. I have a great wife. Um, I have the best support system at home that I could ever dream of having. Um, and so I just, I hope that they could remember just the thankfulness because I really, I really, really am so thankful for the people that I have around me. Mm, you're a great champion and a great person. Thank you, Scotty. Thanks.